guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team. Fish Knuckles' YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday. I know usually on Fan Friday, we start on the Patreon page. But there was only two people who made suggestions for um, this week on the Patreon. And it was both the same decks. It was for ho ho Blaziken. Now, they didn't say which Blaziken. There's a bunch of different Blazikins. We actually played against a Blaziken the other day um, on Expand Thursday. But Steven said, Expanded Ho Blaziken. Then Eugene said, That's a good choice, Ho Blaziken. And nobody else commented, So we're playing Ho Blaziken for Fan Friday. So can't really do a random raffle, but um, we'll say Steven and Eugene both won. But if you want to leave your deck suggestions for Fan Friday, go to the Patreon link down below. It's just a dollar per month. To submit your ideas for every Fan Friday, um, it comes out to like $12 a year. Um, basically, it just makes the fans be able to uh, submit their deck ideas and basically work together like we see this one, uh, which I think is something really, really cool that we saw. Um, so, shout out to Eugene and Steven. Now, I did make a post on Facebook saying, you know what, um, yeah. Oh, Blaziken is winning. Um, you know, make sure you go, vote, go, go, go subscribe on Patreon. And then Steven um, actually submitted his own Ho oh, Blaziken deck. But his blaze can play a blaze can GX, so you know what? That's what we're playing. It seems really cool. I like the idea a lot of playing this blaze can than the other fire starter. But let's go over the deck first, and then we'll go with blaze can pretty much last. Uh, so, ho GX has 180 HP. Sacred Fire does 50. Phoenix burn 180. But what we really care about is this Eternal Flame GX. Put three of any combination of fire Pokemon. Uh, G, uh, put three of any combination of fire Pokemon GX or EX from Discarpa onto your bench. So three of any combination. You do not. It could be a stage one. It could be a stage two. It could be a basic. Whatever you want. And that's what we're trying to go for today. And the reason why is we're trying to get Blaziken GX out. It has the attack slash for 60. Not so good. But what we're looking for is this explosive kick. It does 200 to damage. But you have to discard two fire energies from this Pokemon. 240 HP. It's going to be tanking for a little bit. And the way we're getting our fire energies back every single turn is with Blacksmith. Attach two fire energies from your Discapal to one of your Pokemon. So once you use Ho's Eternal Flame GX, you basically just have your Pokemon you want in the field at all times. And then you just need to hit Blacksmith every single turn. And that's what the deck's pretty much built off of, right? So two top related for supporters, two shame to help draw, and an order guru for the instruct. That's it. Uh, three Compressor, they discard three cards out of your deck. Of course, these are going to be Blazekins and probably a Blacksmith. Um, computer Surge, Consistency, Field Blower. He said this is if you can cut this. So, you know, but we're, right now we're playing his list. Three Trainers Mode to help refine our Trainer cards so we can dig deeper for those VS Seekers, um, which are really nice to get the Blacksmiths. Uh, 4 Ultra Ball, 4 VS Seeker. We are playing one hit Heat Factory, which I forgot to play my Flareon deck the other day. I do apologize. But once you're in turn, before, you, before each player's turn, that player may discard a Fire Energy from their hand. If they do, draw three cards. But we're also playing Scorched Earth, which says discard a Fire Energy, draw two cards. So we have these cards that can help us draw as well. But for Blacksmith, this is a way to power up our Blaziken GX. Uh, we got the two Guzmas. Guzmas not really going to be used, unfortunately, just because, you know, Blaziken has to discard two Fire Energies. One in uh, for Juniper. So we have four Juniper and four Blacksmiths. That's Pretty much a real draw cards. Two choice span. Yeah, well, sure. We'll do 240 damage. That seems good to me. Uh, two flowstone for a free treat. Two burning energy. So when you discard this, um, it, it just returns back to that Pokemon, which is pretty nice. You basically just reuse them. One super boost because, you know, if you have three or more stage to Pokemon play, it provides every type of energy. So technically, when you have three plays and GXs out, explosive, it does work for explosive kick. Seems gimmicky, uh, but we're going to try it today. For, uh, 2 DC, not 4, 2 is just for the Ho -Oh GX, and 9 Fire to, of course, fire, 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 fire Pokemon. So, let's go test this out. Thank you, Steven, for the deck list. We're going to do play it right now, so let's call it Blaziken. Uh, Ho -Oh. I think as I say is, yep, Ho -Oh. All right, so, yep, that's fine. I know, we, we have an incomplete chain line. I know Pokemon. Thank you. I know we don't have a way to a do rare candy R blaze again because we have no Torchic. Uh, I need to delete some decks. I'm not gonna play anymore. All right. Um, this video is also sponsored by us uh, uh, Sonic. All right. So see ya yet. Sayat. 
Uh, probably playing a Zark from a cargo deck from the looks like it. Um, it was Zark and, and Fire, which is like the only real output I can think with this deck, right? Uh, so we're going second. We can, like, hypothetically get the turn one attack off. <sighs> Not with this. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. We'll start Oren Guru, okay. Um, we can put down Scorch, discard a Fire Energy. Oh, with the scores, and then maybe top of the for Juniper. Uh, we both started Oren Guru. Oh, we should have got a promo Oren Guru. So there's a oh, it's a it's a Rotom box deck. This is terrible, <laughs> probably. Is there a Water Rotom that can kill us? Probably. Bursting Balloon, a Compressor. Do I just see now? I think we just lose this game. Like I, I know it seems crazy, um, but I'm actually. Do I, I like I want to concede because I know we're gonna lose. I know we're gonna lose. They're gonna use Frost Rotom and they're just gonna one shot us and then we're gonna lose. Like I know what's gonna happen. I'm just not gonna play this. They're gonna be with this card, but unless they dead draw. Well, maybe they're dead drawing. All right, so we're definitely not playing that in. Floatstone Scorch, uh, Scorch away the fire. Uh, drawing two cards. Choice and Heat Factory. Of course we topped a Heat Factory, uh, but I think we stole Delele for Juniper. Um, yeah, we discard the Heat Factory, but we do not want to end. My opponent really just end and pass. He didn't play his Porter card or anything. So, well, Juniper, we'll discard our hand. Maybe we'll attack on top of Lele. That might be the better outcome. But, man, we got the Ho-Oh. We got the Blacksmith, which can discard the other two, the other Blazikins. Oh, my goodness. We can attach our Fire Energy here. And, whoop. We'll Yep. Yeah. Alright. So how many tool cards in here? Mm-hmm. Alright. Okay. All right, um, so we Ultra Ball, one and two. So I'm gonna just grab our Shaman, just thin our deck down. Do we have the other Floodstone? We do, so press done. I'm just gonna Juniper, just discard our hand. We could have maybe just grabbed nothing and instructed. Oh my goodness. Okie dokie, so we can comp one and two. For the floatstone. Okay, so we got the floatstone. We have one DC in our deck. Alright, we'll floatstone the active. Ultra Ball the double ho os. Press done. One struck for two. Okay, so let's instruct for two. Let's see what we find. Do we find the DC? Mm, nope. Well, Shaman's set up for four. This is where we need to find our DC. Oh no. Okay. Well. Well, we're treat to Oranguru. Treat to Oranguru. And we'll press done. Alright, things are going great right now. I mean, we can blacksmith next turn. Uh, but we're down so many resources. Oh, there he is. Uh oh. They got four so far. Mm hmm. I mean, we could have took a knockout with Ho GX. Because you see, he's playing these splits here. Hmm. How many tool cards in here? Three, four, five, five, eight. Oh, goodness. Hmm. I probably should attach the burning energy, and that way we could maybe Guzma attach an energy. Maybe get like the grass rotom stuck or something. The Whatever, something useless.
I have to take a knock on the active. There's only one fire engine here. All right. We're good. We lose. We lose. I'm done. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Don't hate on me, guys. That was just that's bad luck. Uh, by then, he, he's got enough. He's one-shotting whatever next iron. I, I know he's got enough. All right. Let's try it with serious time. No drinking Sonic. Okay. Let's try this. So the Madden HD. All right. Let's see. Let's think about everything. Let's take our time. Cool down, Josh. I don't think there was a misplay we did last turn. I think we just hit bad hands. We had a DCE prize and stuff like that. We didn't have the combination of doing what we want to do at a certain time. So I think that is okay there. Now, if this was an opening hand, I'd be so happy, but I don't know what card would be Pokemon. Like maybe the Juniper, but then we don't really have anything to discard. Okay, so this, this is a good hand? I think so. We might be able to get a turn one. No, we can't. Uh, we won't be able to put as many Blazikins in this card pile. Hmm. Okay. So we, we have some options. We can either like get at least one Blaziken in the discard pile. That'd be all. That that'd be our only Blaziken, right? Or maybe we top deck like a compressor, then we're good to go. We top deck a compressor, we're looking really good. So Rayquaza GX, Trainer's Melt, this can one-shot us. The Mega can one-shot us. Okay. Hmm. Skyfield. Actually, no, we can't get an external Josh. What are you talking about? That would be insane. Like, super insane. So, Compressor. Because to do that, you would have to get a Blacksmith, two Fires, and a Blaze again. And Battle Compressor only discards three cards. So, that's not going to work in hindsight, no matter what. So, that's just not working. Okay. So, I guess the next play is we take our time. And we just try to set a multiple hold GXs. We see another Shaman. I'm scared that he's going to blow us up turn two, though. That is my actual concerns. I'm not even lying to you. Another Rayquaza. GX coming down. Okay. There's the DCE. Ultra Ball. He's going to keep on going. He's just playing the good old Mega Ray. This is one of my favorite decks. I won a, um, a, a tournament with this deck. And I played it in multiple different tournaments. Um, so I, I love this deck. It's really fast. It's consistent. It just does a ton of damage with Shamans and Rayquazas. This looked, was like a broken combo. Look, this is the same set as this card. So, it was so good. I loved Roy's guy so much. And a Verizion! Oh my goodness. Is he gonna, like, double propagate and then Chorus? Is that what we're seeing right now? Yep. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a Coerce for six. So he must have prized one or two Shamans. Hmm, because you definitely don't grab Verizian in that sense. Okay. So let's computer search. Discard one and two. I'm gonna grab something actually pretty crazy with this. I'm gonna grab a heat factory prism. A heat factory. We'll put down the heat factory. Okay. And I'm gonna discard a the the fire energy. Okay. So Ultra Ball, one and two, for a, we could go Shaman, hold on, let's see here, we can get the turn one right now, so we'll grab a Shaman, okay, we'll put a DCE Choice Band via Seeker Blacksmith, 
Okay. Um, let's... Do we shame him from one? Worry about the extra card? Or no? Let's shame and see what happens. Should probably just hell the VS Seeker. Yeah, because now we have the Juniper. Hmm. I hate that we're discarding so many resources right now. But we gotta get Blaze Skins in the discard pile. We'll put down another Ho GX. And. Pass, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, I think we did the correct things there. Maybe we early via Seeker, so there's a Grass Energy there. Um, okay, does he have Floodstone and Mega Ray? There's Colors for seven. Okay. Now, we could have Blacksmith and try to knock out the Mega Rayquaza next turn. But I think we want to try to get these Blazekins set up. I think that's the game plan here. It doesn't look like he has it right now. Um, he needs the Mega Ray, a Floatstone, and a Skyfield. So Ultra Ball, let's see what he discards here. Maybe he just finds up. If, if, if I'm an opponent and I don't have it this turn, I'm Mega Evolving that Mega Rayquaza doesn't have the Spirit Link. So that we have two Mega Rayquazas essentially next turn because this guy just evolves with the Mega Ray put down. So he just got a Swablu and a Hoopa. A uh, Hoopa lets him grab three EXs. Swablu evolves in Altaria, there's, which gives him the weaknesses. So we do see the Mega Ray coming down. Does he evolve the Mega to end his turn? No, he's going to evolve the one without his Link. Does he have the Floatstone Skyfield Pokemon? He has to execute, so he doesn't. See, I think that was a waste. I think he should have just Mega Evolved, and that was it. So I'm going to Heat Factory, discard a Fire to G. And we got it. Yeah, we got the, we got the Compressor. We can discard the Blazikins. Okay. Press. Done. We'll discard the three Blazikins. Uh, I'm going to Compressor and discard some more Fire to Gs. Uh, and then the other Compressor seems like a good card to discard. Okay. We'll put a Fire to G here. And then we could Guzma, but... And we get the Verizian, huh? Verizian's one tree cost, it's two retreat cost. So what we do is I'm gonna Guzma, bring up his Rayquaza, send in uh, the Shaman, attach a Flowstorm retreat. Okay. And let's just Eternal Flame GX. All right, so we got the three uh, Blaze Skin GXs out. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay. Let's see what he got here. We already have seven fires. So there's a Skyfield, but immediately bumping the Skyfield, right? He's just bumping in. He's like, whatever. We're going crazy. I mean, what could happen is Phoenix Burn can, who actually does an 8 night, it only does a 210, which doesn't one shot this Rayquaza. So if anything, we might just Sacred Fire this Mega Rayquaza and bump his Skyfield with a Scorched Earth. Um, yeah, if he doesn't have a Floodstone or DC to retreat, they were looking okay. I just said we weren't going to have any more milkshake, and we're having a milkshake right now. I'm sorry, guys. So this, I mean, his other shaman is prized. We know this. So he grabs the Rayquaza. Okay. <clears throat> Plus, I might have too many fire to discard it, because we need a third energy for just the explosive kick, just by in hindsight, right? So, see the, so he must have VS to for colors, is what he's doing right now. Or she, sorry. Oh, and, oh my goodness. He has everything. Well. <sighs> okay. And that's bad news for us. I'm gonna put it on the Ho GX. I'm gonna retreat into a Ho. -Oh. 
choice spin. I'm gonna scorched earth. Put him down to five. And then you have to find his third Skyfield. So I'll discard the other egg probably, which is, I think that might be incorrect. Um, maybe not. We'll play Juniper. We're just looking at energy attachment to one of our Blazikins. Okay. Um <clears throat> so I think we're gonna hold this right now. I'm gonna trainer's mill. Grab a blacksmith for next turn. We already have one in hand, so we got the blacksmith right now. We got three blacksmiths as of right now. So we'll press done. So my plan is like blacksmith, DCE, knockout, blacksmith, DCE, knockout, and we just like take three consecutive consecutive knockouts, right? Uh, so he has the third sky floater coming on line. He's got the eggs, he's got the knockout, but does he have another energy way to get another Rayquaza out? <clears throat> so you see the eggs keep coming out? Okay. He's down, what, two DCEs? Mmm, I'm nervous, guys. I am nervous. We're going to start swinging next turn, and then we got another turn of swinging, but by then he might have, have enough energies. He's got to find a Mega Ray as well, an energy Mega Ray. He needs an energy DCE Mega Ray... And a, um, what just happened? Did he not have like, any resources left, I wonder? No! And I, 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 oh my goodness. I think we would have maybe won that game. Like, maybe he realized his hand was dead and, like, he was going to lose in the next couple turns. What just happened there? Did we actually have, like, the game on lock? Like, I think it would have made a comeback. But now we'll never know. So we got the blaze again out. We just didn't. We had the three blacksmiths, right? We had two blacksmiths and a BS seeker. So as long as he did NS, we were attacking three turns in a row. All right. So Alan Mar, eighty nine, playing a fighting deck. Gradon, heads. All right. So we won the coin flip. Yes, I would love to go first. Don't have to ask me twice, Pokemon. Okay. So like we. Don't need the turn one right now, but our hand is, looks looks really good. Like I really do want a blacksmith discard like two fire energies and, and a ho ho, and then blacksmith this turn. Metatite, what is happening? Okay, compressor, two fires, and a blaze again. Trainer's mill. For Floatstone. Floatstone Blacksmith the we could blacksmith the active I think that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna think about blacksmith the active. Just to put two in the active, and we're just gonna pass right now. I think that's fine. Because next turn we can attach energy, hope to hit coat, another battle compressor, and they go crazy. We also can just like win next turn if we top deck battle compressor and he doesn't put anything down, then we just Phoenix Burn for knockout. So, Deontay, um, Metatite. Oh, it's like a super, f like, flipping deck. Like, bite is what we're trying to do here. Maybe? This doesn't add damage. Huh. Super boost! <laughs> Oh, such a bad time to draw the super boost right now, isn't it? All right, so uh, get this. I guess let's go. We could go in. Uh, yeah, we'll go in. Unfortunately, well, hope I don't know what my opponent's playing, but we're in here. Our, you know, we our whole has resistance. Whatever. This hand though. Um, all right, so a trainer's mill. So we get the compressor. That's real nice. <clears throat> we'll Compressor, uh, discarding one, two, three. I think we just need two and a Fire Energy is what I'm doing right now. 
Okay, touch a fire to the active. Ultra Ball 1 and 2. I kind of want to grab a Ring here, but I'm going to grab a Shaman instead and do like Shebe for 6. Or for 5. Yeah. I guess we could have just waited as well. There's really no need to do the Shaman play right now. But we'll just Eternal Flame GX grabbing 3 of these guys. Do we grab 2 or 3? Fine. Oh, also, I don't think last game we actually would have had it because we need Blacksmith and Energy every single turn, right? Um, so, yeah, we got the Blacksmith. Okay, there's a Carbink. Okay. Huh. EX. Well, we're GX is here, so it doesn't matter. Metatite, Metatite, Metatite. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so this thing lets them attack twice. We do have resistance, though. And there's not a focus, Ash. So, Blaze King's going to be doing a knockout. Okay, strong energy. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 7, 140 is what he's doing right now. Mm. Did I do the math wrong? Really? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, it's a victory of weakness or resistance. All right, Blaze King. Uh, get revenge, buddy. <laughs> All right, so we'll blacksmith two to the active. We have to do this every single turn. This could be really hard, actually. Okay. <coughs> Carving. Okay. Then get his energies back. That is what I'm scared of. Our focus at, oh, Flea Bowler's gone too. Okay, choice spin there. Huh. Copycat, okay. Does he find the break? If he doesn't find the break, then he's in bad shape. Okay, there's Meta Jail coming down. But did he find the carpet break? Switch into the Meta Tight. Pass into our turn. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is float still in the active. Guzma up this guy to send up our Shaman. Boy, if we Sky Return, he can just heal for a single energy. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he can calm line to heal. And then we can't break the sash, really. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. So, yep. Yeah, that's a deactive. Retreats. Diamond get for 50, 40, sorry. Okay. So we, I know this is like the unconventional way of doing this, but we're going to, this, VS Seeker, Guzma, Guzma this guy up for the knockout. Yeah. Yeah, go down to four price cards. Okay. Yeah, go down to four. That's a VS sticker, which we can get as a blacksmith next turn. <clears throat> hmm. So strong energy there. And what we could do as well is since he did he like oh my goodness, well that's bad. No we have one retreat cost, so that's fine. We can goose with this back up. Retreat 2040, 60, 80. And that's a knockout. We're just using our VS stickers for all the wrong reasons right now, but since we play four of those, we're looking good. Oh, 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 things are changing now. Oh, oh, Lord. Well, the, 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 the clock is ticking now. So two there. Okay, well. Oh, my God, it's taking some damage. 
We got this. 24 to 60, 80. So that's not a knockout. 24 to 60, 24 to 60. Okay, so we can put a fire to G here via Seeker. Frick the Guzma. We're going to go down to three, and then this guy's going to come up and smack us in the face for a knockout. <laughs> that's, that's. Oh, no. Yeah, this guy. So we knock out there. I still think, like, Sky Attorney was probably, like, 100% better play. Um, so Juniper. Okay. Is he going to set this guy and just hope he hits the Metacham? We've knocked out two so far. Ooh, I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous right now. Oh, goodness. He can get... Yep, he's got it this turn. Okay, so what do we do after this? Like, I think he wins. Like, I don't know what we can do with this, really. Um, huh. Yeah, because we can't get rid of the Focus Ash. Like, we're not going to be able to get rid of that, unfortunately. And right now, Yoke is going to do 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140. So he's taking the knockout here, for sure. Hmm. We are in trouble, guys. Alrighty. We have two DCs down, right? Oh, just one? Yeah. So we're going to Juniper. Looking for a DC this turn. We got it. We got the Heat Factor. We'll get our Shine of Punishment so it can leave me alone. We'll compress it. Discard some stuff we don't need out the deck. Um, we don't need the Ultra Balls anymore, for sure. We don't need the Choice Band either. Everything else. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> no, we're fine. We can grab the Super Boost this turn. Yep. So Ultra Ball discard. One to two. For super boost. Okay. Super boost. Mm. We get slash for 60. The problem is he can he can calm mine to heal all the damage off this turn if he wants to. But last turn he didn't do that. So I wonder if he's gonna go for the same play again. So Fiebler, get rid of this hate factory and it's okay. Does he have choice band? Oh, the hustle belt. Oh my goodness. All right, one more game, and then we're done. One more game, we're done. One more, one more game, we're done with Pan Friday. Sometimes I just don't know, like, what's going to happen on these on these games. And, like, I did, did not... Did not expect that. Did not expect the hustle play. He dropped the hustle ball and I was like, we lost. Oh my goodness. All right, unlost game here. Ratchet Persian. Okay. Hmm. Are they playing Ho-Oh as well? Hmm. Lost the coin flip. Hmm. It's another Rayquaza deck. So many different things it could be. Um, this turn one is... Well, I guess it depends what we get. Like, we can get Shaman and stuff with the Ultra Ball and blah, 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 blah. And, like, go crazy. Compressor, Discord, some stuff. And, like, Ultra Ball, Discord, like, Blacksmith, whatever. And maybe the Field Lords put was... I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Too many hypothetical situations. This hand is bad. <laughs> I mean, we get a blade skin this card no matter what. Unless we try to make an ultra ball, then maybe it becomes good, right? We try to make ultra ball. We ultra ball for shaman. If we that's the only thing that really turns good if we ult if we try to make an ultra ball. We'll see. 
<laughs> Another repository. Huh. Great. <laughs> is it a is it a ho -oh Rayquaza deck like the Rebirth Rayquaza? We're the true Rebirth though. Ho -oh only Rebirth himself in these decks. We're Rebirth. Re 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 yep, I can't talk anymore. We're just put watch some Pokemon. See what happens. So Max Elixir. Okay. Does he find a grass energy? <gasps> By the time they get Blaziken swinging, Rayquaza's gonna have a billion energy. I'm gonna be honest. And so question guys, when Windows have a, has an update, do you automatically do it or no? I just always hit snooze. Just like, I'm like I don't wanna do an update, that takes too much time. That's just, I'm not, nah, I'm good. <clears throat> I'm good. I'm not doing I'm not doing a Windows update. Okay, Persian, what's happening here, bud? So they timed out or something. That's what I'm thinking. Discard this two and a fire energy and we'll we'll juniper okay. Like they definitely timed out, like they're they're not here. This scorch earth, fire energy, ultra ball, one and two. <clears throat> uh, ho oh, yep, ho GX. Ho checks this thing and pass. And now they're not gonna do anything. And I mean we have we have a good turn too. Right, we got the blacksmith. We've got the you know the, the eternal flame jacks. Like that's all we need to do next turn, and we have it, and we're not gonna go see it because opponent time now. Stop it, opponent. I'm so mad right now. I just wanna play one good game. Oh my goodness. Oh, he, he's definitely timed out. I hate when, when, I was going to say RuneScape, when Pokemon does this. Like, oh my goodness. Just log them off, please. If they don't, if they don't click within like a minute, just log them out. Oh, oh, he's back. He's back from outer space. He's alive. He is back. Maybe he really didn't hit anything with the Max Luxor and he was just so shook. I don't know. Where'd he go? I wonder. Where'd my opponent go? Where did he just disappear last turn? He just went to go get a milk? Went to, went to Sonic real quick? Got him a milkshake? Is he like, I don't know what we're playing against, so I'm just goofing around. Maybe that's what he's thinking. I, I don't know. Please, please do something, opponent. Please stop wasting my days. Is he is he like just dead drawing and, and that's what's happening? Cause that's what's happening. I'm fine with this, but is that what's really happening? I don't know. Hmm. It's pretty good next turn. Okay. Well, retreat into this thing. Uh, turn off on GX. We got the burning energy. We got the VS seekers. Like we're looking good. Like, we're looking real good. But at the same time, we could Phoenix Bear from Knockout next turn. And that seems even better. Like, we could VS again from Blacksmith, attach a burn energy, Phoenix Bear from Knockout. I just, I just can't tell if he is messing with us. Like, I don't know if my opponent is just chilling. If it's, is it that bad of hands? Guys, what would you do in this situation? Like, we're trying to win here, right? So let's VS again for Blacksmith. Let's Blacksmith to, to, the, to a bench Blaze again, right? So we'll go here. <clears throat> Put two on this Blaze again. Without a burning to the active. 
and we'll just Phoenix Burn for 180. Take out the knockout. If he does retaliate somehow, then we can send up the Blaze again and knock him out with the Explosive Kick. If he goes with this, this Blaze again up, we're good to go. Did he really just have nothing? I just, I find that so hard. To, did he dread draw that bad? Did, I mean, like, we were set up, we were good to go, and then we just didn't play this game, and my goodness. I mean, we were, we were set for good. Like, I think that was our best setup, right? I think that was the best setup. All right, well, I, I know we want to play more, right? Right, we want to play more, but it's currently uh, 1030, and I got to be working at 8, 6 o'clock in the morning. So here's the list once again. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Maybe we'll revisit for a, 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 an expanded Thursday later on. I don't know. If this is the wrong blaze again, let me know as well. I'm not sure which blaze again I was supposed to be playing, but there we go. Uh, sh shout out to our patrons once again, Eugene and uh, Steven for the, um, the suggestions. And Steven actually, I think this is, I think it's a different, maybe it's the same Steven. Uh, Steven also sent us a list. I don't know if it's the same Steven or not. They have different last names. But anyways, guys, there we go. Hope you're addition to Fan Friday. You can see how the deck kind of does work. It looks like we were going to win two games and opponents just didn't have anything, which, whatever. <coughs> but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you Monday for Main Deck Monday. I was thinking about doing a video for Saturday. We'll see. Alrighty. Bye.